Okay, today we're going to be using the Fuel 3D Scanify to take a scan of Oliver's face. We're going to be taking it from three different angles and then using the new studio software to stitch the three scans together. After we've stitched the scans together, we're going to export as an STL file and 3D print it on our Zortrax M200. So the first step is to capture the scans. Now you can see I'm looking at the screen whilst taking um, the scan. Um, it gives a live feed of what the camera can see, so you're making sure you're capturing the right thing. And then this is the front-on shot that we've captured. As you can see, I'm holding a target just under my chin, and that basically helps locate um, the correct distance for the scan to be taken correctly. And then that's the left side, and then we're going to take the right-hand side now as well. And as soon as that target goes green on the screen, that means it's ready to take the scan. So the next step is to stitch the scans together. Now we're in the Studio Advance software, but this can be done on the uh, basic software as well, the starter. So I'm just highlighting the scans that I want to stitch, and now I'm going to drop one, the right hand side scan, onto the front scan and then it'll automatically position them in the right location. And now I'm going to drop the other side. It does take a few minutes and then that's the three scans that have been stitched together. So you haven't got the whole of the head by any means but it's just managed to go round towards the ears on either side. And if I take, take the colour out you can see the details that, that have been picked up. Now I'm just going to click Stitch um, and we'll have a few options um, of how, it, how the scans are going to be stitched together. I'll just leave them all on the default and then Accept. And now it's created a solid object um, just moulded around the back of Ollie's face. Just going to save it, export it as an STL file. And now we're going to move on to the 3D printing. Now I'm going to put the STL file that we just exported into Z-Suite, which is the 3D printing software for the Zortrax M200. Just going to shrink down the size a little bit and rotate it so that it's upright. And now I'm just going to select um, print and then this is where we can choose the quality settings. So I'm going to put the layer height on 0.19, which is that medium quality, a light in fill, um, and then leave the supports standard. And now this is ready to save onto the SD card. And now we'll go over to the machine and find the file and set it to print. Okay, right, now it's finished, we've printed it out, and uh, here it is. I'll just take it away here. Now, the quality is pretty impressive, and um, you can see it's not perfect, there's a join across his um, forehead there. So I think in an ideal world, we would have taken another scan um, down from this angle, and then merged that one in two as well. But um, we just wanted to show you what you can do with just three scans. So if we take a closer look at the 3D printed model, uh, you can really see the level of detail that's been picked up by the scanner, and that's been replicated by our 3D printer. And basically by being able to stitch together this many um, scans, it's going to open up a lot of possibilities for you in the future. If you enjoyed this video, please like, comment and subscribe. Also, come follow us on Facebook, Twitter and Instagram. 
You can find out more about our products and services by visiting dream3d.co.uk.